control group that we are also following. And then we are starting at different ages to see if really the key age is between age four and age six. So you have to understand that at this moment, in the, only on the science, we are dealing with about 25,000 children. So we have a good group of children to be followed over the years. And the people are very committed. The governments are very, very committed. The funding is available. And therefore, I feel quite excited that we will be able at least, this is all research. We may be wrong. And all everything we do at age 20, 25 is gone. You know, that, that's the, the reality of research. But thus far, in a three year follow up without intervening, because we are already getting the data for the third year, really works. So, this is all what I can say. I have three persons on the list at the moment Dr. Wakam, then Dr. Krieger, and Dr. Laclette. Uh, thank you, Chairman. Uh, thank you for this very interesting and stimulating presentation, Dr. Christian. Uh, I would like to, to learn something. Uh, the data you've shown is certainly convincing, uh, but what about uh, what you haven't shown, actually, in this <laughs> short speak, obviously. Uh, what about the, the data concerning the, uh, the children modifying uh, the behavior of, of adults in the family and, and in the surrounding. Do you have a special module in your program for this? And, and is there room for improvement in that aspect? Yeah. Thank you. OK, there are two, uh, two aspects that we are trying to look at data. One is that are these children three years later less obese than what could expect? This is the biological follow-up. And the question is, uh, those from you from Colombia, you know, the, the, the Colombia economy is divided in from different groups. Uh, you know, a zero is the worst. And we are really, uh, we are between each group one and two. And actually, interestingly, the, amount, the obesity was not really prevalent. So it's very hard that we get there. However, in Spain, we have studied, we are studying uh, three different economy levels. And then I think we will be able to get much easier, uh, uh, you know, uh, evidence that they change the weight. At this moment, we cannot. In terms of the impact that they have on the parents, we are not pulling all together because we have such information. But I can tell you overall, uh, because I met with the parents, is a is a huge success. What I cannot give you today is the quantification yet, but we will have that. Dr. Krieger. Dr. Fuster, congratulations for your presentation. I believe the idea to have programs of uh, education and health is fantastic. And we are all looking for that. Uh, my question is, uh, I, I want you to, to explore a little bit more for us uh, the, the schedule that you are using. And I, I will raise the question using the, the science education that uh, we have international experience. There are both from French, La Mère La Pat, and from America, uh, Learn by Doing. Both are trying to, to teach uh, science, uh, physics, chemistry, by making experiments, small, uh, small experiments, uh, trying to raise the creativity of the mind, so to prepare the mind to, 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 to think rationally and not uh, uh, theoretically. This is the idea of the, of the science education, is to prepare creativity. Now I want you to tell us a little bit more what is the really uh, focus on the, on, the, on the learning of the, 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 the education in health. What is, what, how you are using to, to, to educate, because this is a behavior. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead. I had a lot of questions, very closely related to the this question. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for this inspiring uh, talk. And, and secondly, we're planning to make this alliance between the academies of sciences and the academies of medicine in order start this uh, education uh, program on, on health, uh, uh, taking uh, the advantage that our science education programs are working 
work and uh, looks to me that you have uh, some, uh, some steps ahead of us on the methodology for this kind of teaching. How can we share this information? Where can we get in contact with you? Mm. Well, uh, first of all, uh, <laughs> the, 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 your question is a critical one. Uh, one of the problems I found in the school system in the United States, I went. I was president of the American Heart Association, and I went to the Westchester area. I used to live in Brownsville, which was the south of West. I went to the school system, and I said, I want to implement such educational program. Uh, and they said, we don't have time in the curriculum. That's why I ended up in Colombia. And actually, Joe Buford was the critical person. You still probably remember the day I went to see you saying, I am frustrated. Uh, she worked with President Clinton. Uh, and the, the, question, the question is exactly that, how we create minds. And this is how we got into these young people, starting at age seven, actually, now moving on on the eight aspects I mentioned to you. To teach somebody to have time to every day to think about who you are and what your priorities are. To tell somebody, just search what your talent is, because this is the best in, uh, you know, the, the in, investment you can make. To teach them positivity and to teach them listen to people. This opens up the brain. And we already have the information on that. And in, an ish, in addition, you still go to something that society is losing, because uh, uh, the way society is moving, which are the virtues of, of that I mentioned before, altruism and so forth. I don't have any question, based on one year of experience in young people, this has a tremendous impact on creativity. Because you begin to look at yourself. That's number one. But let me go into the adults, which I didn't present to you. One of the most fascinating projects, actually, is in middle-aged people. And that is, how do adults change behavior? They don't. We don't. I'm a little bit dogmatic, but the children capture in the act. We adults, the hypothesis we have is we need other adults to move forward, whether it's peer pressure, whether it's a society of us. So we developed a project in the island of Granada, which is in the Caribbean, as you know. And in the small town of my wife, 3,000 people, a town in recession, is a mining town, and doing like Alcohol Anonymous, and that is, they are groups of 10, they, they help each other on blood pressure, smoking cessation, weight and exercise. No doctors, no nurses. They meet every two weeks. And you might be a smoker, but I might have high blood pressure. We help each other. And then there is a control group. Absolutely fascinating. Let me give you, basically in the town of my wife that is on recession, we call this project 50-50. These are people under age of 50. That's how we started. Unbelievable. What is happening is, there is a gain of self-esteem that you are really looking for something that has meaningfulness, and this is your own health, and you are contributing to the health of somebody else. That in itself, it, it seems to intellectually doesn't mean anything. They are so excited. They are all reading the books. They are trying to figure out why blood pressure goes up and down, and why we take medications and so forth. This is happening on a project that is so simple. It's like helping each other. And we have these two in the small town and in the island of Granada we are starting. So I think the issue of creativity and the issue of development is at all ages. And I think the question we are finding out is that we all have something inside that has not been untapped, that is extremely creative. It's just society, whatever it is, doesn't give the opportunity. But I think there is an opportunity to all of us regardless of the age. And I'm just mentioning this to you because this is a project in people uh, you know, under the age of 50 that is really working very nicely. Now we have the control group. We have to see that really the groups of 10 is superior than just telling you for a few hours what you should do. But it's all educational, it's all creative. That, this is the only answer I can give you. Hello, uh, Dr. Fuster, I am from Colombia, a member of the National Academy of Medicine. I wonder. And I know the genesis of that piece and so on. Where, when did we start? 
with that heat. When she was the Secretary of Health of Bogota, because she's the Minister of Health only one, one year ago. Yeah. No, frankly, she didn't have any job. In fact, uh, you know, Beatrice and I started out of the blue. We met in China and we began to talk about it. And uh, I had, I was involved with Sesame. She wanted to do something for society. I can tell you, very anxious to, to help, she, you know her. She put and says, let's put our heads together. And that's basically the story. She didn't have any position in government. You have folk. Uh, yeah, well. I think it's a good example. You have focused on, on children. What about fetal life? Well, uh, I. I think your, your question is a very profound one. I think there is a lot going on during fetal life, and it depends on the behavior of the mother. I mean, this is the, in the environment where the mother is. This is now scientifically coming out very rapidly, I mean, the impact of the smoking, the impact of nutrition, the impact of obesity, it has on the so-called epigenetics, which is how the genetics of the child have been modified, uh, not by mutation, uh, but by, uh, by, by, uh, by, by the mechanisms, uh, other mechanisms we call epigenetics. So I think that it's time to really begin to work on the mothers and I leave this to somebody else, frankly. I have enough in my plate, but uh, what I'm saying is, I personally think it's a huge uh, aspect that has to be addressed, because I think this has tremendous influence. And the science is coming out very rapidly about the time that the mother is pregnant, the influence, that the behavior of that mother, I call behavior to understand each other, has on the, on the fetus in the child. Any further comments, questions? Satisfied. So let's thank the two speakers by giving. <laughs>